How's it going YouTube? I am Blitz and day one of E3 has, pretty sure it has concluded because I haven't seen anything else, but Microsoft, their presentation has definitely concluded and boy oh boy, the stuff that they showed, um, I wasn't, I'd kind of hoped when I had heard about Kingdom Hearts 3, I'd kind of hoped that um, Xbox would maybe be able to have it and it is confirmed it will be coming to Xbox One and I'm excited for that because it means yes it's just not a PS4 exclusive anymore Xbox is gonna get it and either way I'm probably gonna get it <laughs> PlayStation or Xbox I will get it so um, moving on the Division 2 I wasn't really expecting uh, the uh, gameplay that they showed us but I liked it. I like I like how the story is going. Um, I felt in the first division, uh, the campaign, it was cut too short. It didn't really have that type of story. I'm kind of hoping that's what they do with the division two. They give us more of that campaign, more story driven. Um, I do like the multiplayer aspect, but and I liked how um, the setting is in Washington D.C. I think it's gonna give it give it a better uh, dynamic than New York. Um, going on to the next game, I want to talk about Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That game looked amazing. Now, I've only played a couple of Tomb Raider games. Um, which one was it? Well, one that came out with, uh, Games with Gold. I played that one, and then I played the very first PlayStation Tomb Raider. Um, and the first game of Tomb Raider ever, it really didn't... It grabbed me. I thought it was too complicated. That's when I was uh, back when I was what nine ten, and I was a button masher. That's all I did. I bushed buttons or <laughs> mash buttons. There we go. I mashed buttons. That's how I played games when I was like nine or ten. I, I didn't really actually utilize my hands with the controller and synchronize how how you are supposed to play games. So I was beast at a uh, fighting games and everything, but now that I'm older, <laughs> way much older, and I actually know how to use a controller besides just mash buttons, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, the trailer for it, it looks looks like it's going to be an amazing game, and her character development, the fact that she was going after that dagger to stop Trinity, but in reality she's the villain, it, it kind of gives it a new twist, I, I like it. Um, another game that caught my interest was Skate 4 that looked like it was pretty decent. Um, I've never played any of the Skate games, so I can't really compare it to any of the, any others or anything like that. Uh, the only Skate games I've ever played has been, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, so we'll see. Um, that might be something I look into, or it might not be, but it did, it did look interesting. Now, something that I missed, and... I had to step away from my computer at the time when it when the Microsoft presentation first started. I missed the Halo Infinite trailer, but I have gone back and watched it because, you know, this day and age where we get everything instant. So I went back and I looked at the trailer and it looks nice. Um, Halo is one of the games that it don't really catch me. I've only really, the only Halo game that I've really enjoyed playing was Halo 3. Other than that, the rest of them, meh. Not really my thing. But it does. The little snippet that they gave us was really interesting. Another game that looked um, RPG-ish, kind of, was Black Desert. I really uh, liked, uh, I liked the story concept of that game. It really made me want to find out the title of it because they were just going through the story of well you guys would just have to go watch the trailer for it but um, it really piqued my interest now another trailer that they showed I have never played any of the games in the series but I do know what it is I mean if you're a gamer you've heard most of these titles well except for the new ones but all the older franchises and stuff you've had to have heard of it um, Devil May Cry um, that trailer looked amazing. I don't know if it's something I would go pick up and play because, like I said, I've never played any of the previous ones, and maybe that's something I should do is go play the previous ones before Devil May Cry 5 comes out. But the gameplay for it, uh, the trailer, 
I, I can't say gameplay because I, I think it was just cutscenes, but it looked amazing. It, it was awesome. Um, Dying Light 2, I liked how it gave, or it's going to give you the option of any little choice can affect any outcome in the game. So if you choose this, it's going to go that way. If you choose this, it's going to go that way. So it's really, it really makes you think about the choices in game in character that you're going to make. It kind of reminds me of the, um, those old books where down at the bottom it had choices and you picked one and then you had to go to this other page and I hated those books because I always ended up killing the character. <laughs> uh, but no, so Dying Light 2 does look really interesting. Just Cause 4, the way how they presented it, it really, really caught my attention. I have never played any of the Just Cause's games. But this one looked, from the trailer that they showed, I am interested in it for sure. And then I'm going to go back. I skipped it because I got really, actually, no, let's not talk about that one yet. We'll save that one for last. Let's go. I liked how Phil Spencer was uh, doing his outro and then he was apparently hacked. But no, I liked how they introduced Cyberpunk. That was an amazing introduction to a world premiere. Um... I, I kind of had this feeling in my mind as he was doing his outro that, um, no, this ain't it. They got something else because they got to have something else. And, of course, they did. And I really do like how they presented it as someone was hacking and uploading the uh, trailer for it. So it was really neat. And I think Cyberpunk is going to be one of the uh, an actual really good game. It was vibrant and colorful, and it looked awesome from the trailer. So I can't wait to get my hands on that one. And for the one that I said, let's give to save for last. This is the last one that as soon as I saw Naruto and then Luffy from One Piece, and I was like, oh, yes, here it comes. They're going to have a crossover. Goku's coming. I was like, yes, they're going to do a three-way crossover with this game. And I was just sitting on the edge of my seat looking at this trailer like, oh, my gosh, this is an anime fan's dream come true, especially the ones who... Um, who started off in anime with Dragon Ball Z and then you've progressed to Naruto and One Piece and just ah, oh, it, it really just it was amazing. I, I can't believe that this crossover video game is happening. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait for it. You guys can probably tell that I am so enthused for that game because this isn't my normal uh, di dialect? dialogue? This isn't my normal speaking because I am a little bit excited about what's all these games that are dropping. I cannot wait to see what uh, Sony has to offer. Um, I probably will, if I don't watch Nintendo's uh, presentation, I'll probably just go back on YouTube and uh, watch videos of whatever they gotta show. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to what uh, Sony has to show. Um, I was kind of sad that Red Dead Redemption 2 wasn't nothing... Uh, that micro blah, 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 excuse me that Microsoft has not uh, did not present anything about Red Dead Redemption 2. Figured Rockstar would like team up with them for it, but since Rockstar is more kind of PlayStation, yeah, I kind of get the idea. But anyways, guys, it looks like we have some awesome games. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you think, what you thought, what you're hyped for, what you're excited for, what you're disappointed in. And let's get the uh, conversation going. Anyways, guys, I'm going to catch you uh, tomorrow. I'll be uploading another video with uh, the next couple of presentations. I'll try and get the videos out like each day afterwards. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoy your guys' day. Leave a like. Hit the sub if you like the content. And I will see you next video.